Try to sit up straight, close your eyes, and watch your breath. Make up your mind you're going to stay here. And then try to be true to that intention each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out. To stay true, you need three qualities of mind. The first is mindfulness, the ability to remember something. Like right now, you're going to remember to stay with the breath. And then alertness, to make sure you're actually doing it. And then a quality called ardency. If you find that you're not doing it, then you bring the mind right back. In other words, if it wanders off someplace, it's not related to the breath, well, that's not where you want to be right now. You've already made up your mind, you're going to stay right here. Why wander off? So bring the mind back. When the mind is with the breath, then you're ardent to make the, the concentration much firmer, make it stronger, make it really solid, make it really comfortable to be here. Think of different ways of breathing, longer or shorter, faster or slower, heavier or lighter, deeper, more shallow. See what kind of breathing feels good for the body right now. The body has a sense of well-being, the mind will be more willing to, want to settle down and stay right here. Because we need to develop this quality of solidity, this quality of truthfulness within ourselves. As the Buddha said, when you, if you can't depend on yourself, who else are you going to depend on? The self is its own mainstay, but it can be its own mainstay only if you make it solid. Otherwise your mind is more liquid than water. It can flow everywhere very quickly, much more quickly than water can. And you can think in just a split of a second you're already on the other side of the world. We want to take this quality of the mind that's changeable and make up our minds that we're going to stay right here to fight that quality. Sometimes change is good, sometimes it's bad. If there's unskillful qualities of mind, you do try to change them. But if there's something skillful, you want to maintain it. This, the Buddha said, is mindfulness as a governing principle. Mindfulness doesn't just watch things coming and going. It realizes that good things have to be made to come and prevented from going. And unskillful things in the mind have to be prevented from coming and made to go. So you're not just sitting here passively, you're actively, actively engaged in trying to straighten out your mind. Because look at the world around us, even the ground under our feet moves. We want to make the mind even more solid than that. So that when things come up that would ordinarily have a bad effect on the mind, we don't want the mind to be affected. We want it to be more solid than earth. to try to develop this quality of solidity inside. After all, if you're not solid inside, what can you depend on? Even mountains fall down. As I said, even the earth moves. So you're going to look for something that's really solid if you don't look inside the mind. And you're not going to find it there unless you bring it into being. Because otherwise, as the Buddha said, the mind can change more quickly than anything else. Even the flash of an eye is, is too slow an image for how quickly the mind can change. So you've got to fight that tendency. And you fight it by being mindful and being alert and being ardent and trying to get the mind to be really solid and dependable. Because once you get the mind to doing what you want it to do, then it becomes your true friend. Otherwise, it's your traitor. You want to find happiness and the mind can create misery even in the midst of the best things. If it hasn't been trained. If it has been trained, you can find happiness no matter where you are. And you can prevent yourself from doing all kinds of unskillful things because you keep the mind solid. You don't just react to events without thinking. You take your time to figure out what needs to be done. So that requires this quali quality of solidity, the quality that's not pushed around by things outside or inside. The quality that stays true to itself, to its own best interest, to its own truest intentions. So make up your mind you want to make the mind solid and then carry through with that. That's how the self becomes its own mainstay. When you get that kind of mainstay, then you've got a mainstay that's going to see you through all kinds of difficulties in life. <laughs>